Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, I am showing business owners how to connect their e-commerce platform to QuickBooks Online. I know that many of you are online sellers, whether that be Amazon, Etsy, Shopify, eBay, or something else. And many online sellers really struggle with their bookkeeping. It's very important to make sure that you stay up to date with your bookkeeping, especially if you are a retail style business. There are so many backend tasks, it can be very easy to fall behind. And then catching up as a retailer can be very overwhelming. If you are a retailer and bookkeeping is not your forte, maybe consider outsourcing. It's not uncommon for business owners to outsource their backend financial tasks like bookkeeping, inventory management, and payroll relatively quickly or even before they open. This is where establishing a business line of credit or capital comes in handy. That will be covered in another video, so make sure that you are subscribed and check out all of the other videos that are available now on my channel. First things first, you'll wanna head over to the Commerce tab on the left-hand side toolbar. Here is where all of your commerce data will appear once you are connected. Connecting your sales channel to QBO will allow you to automatically bring in all of your payout and order data so you can track everything in one place match payouts to your bank deposits, run reports and see your sales trends and stay on top of your cash flow. When you are ready to connect, click the green connect a sales channel button. Here is where you will select your sales channel. For the sake of this example, I am going to select Amazon since that is the most popular. You'll follow the prompts and sign in with your Amazon credentials, just like you would if you were logging into your online storefront. When you're ready, click the green continue button on the bottom right of your screen. First, select your start date. This is the date you want your data to start reflecting in QBO. Maybe the beginning of the year, or maybe when you started your business. Once your date is selected, click the green agree button to continue. Now select your Amazon Marketplace country and click connect. This will take you to the login screen. Due to this being a sample company, I have limited action steps, but simply log in using your Amazon credentials and you should have successfully connected your Amazon storefront to QuickBooks Online. Now you are ready to start recording all of your e-commerce business transactions in one place. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave those in the comments below. And for even more behind the scenes content of life as a home bookkeeper, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dawn and connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you need more assistance, personal financial coaching or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.